Welcome everyone to another CryEngine tutorial video about RPG inventory. Um, first of all, I would like to thank everyone for supporting me. There's a lot of, like, I mean, like, not a lot, a lot, but um, much more than it was before. Uh, people watching my videos, so thank you for that. And um, yeah, let's let's do this. I should remember from my previous video. We already finished working on Flash. We might be going back to the Flash and change some things, um, but at the moment uh, we don't need to. Um, the thing is that we are going to start working on our um, in our project editor. So there it is. Um, as always, I say. Um, if you haven't watched my previous videos, I highly recommend you to go and do that because there is all of information that you need. Uh, now we are going to create UI actions for this element that I just created. So, yeah. Mm. You probably already know how to make UI actions because obviously I've already showed that in the previous videos. So that should be clear for you and there is a little thing I wanna say I have to shorten the length of my videos a little bit because it takes very long time to upload it and render it if I change anything and then I you know I record also Polish language for the videos and this takes ages for my computer to render so what I wanna do I wanna make it a little bit shorter so there will be more parts of it um I think I think we're gonna be aiming for like up to ten or fifteen minutes. I think fifteen minutes would be fine. So let's speed it up. We're going to flow graph as usually. If you don't know what I'm doing now you probably haven't watched my previous videos. Uh new UI action. Uh we're gonna call it in this case inventory uh disable. And I'm going to go into the old. Uh, we already created some element before in my video, so I'm gonna just grab this and copy. <coughs> and copy that so I don't have to put everything back in here. Okay. You got this. Um, well, first, what we gotta do. Yeah, so you can see my inventory system is visible over here, which means our uh, UI element XML file is um, it's fine. It's there is no mistakes in it. So yeah, I put the inventory element. What I need this this is disable action. So we're gonna set up the hide hide it. Okay, cool. Uh, we got this, uh, save all external graphs, we're gonna copy that, create new UI action, and it's gonna be, <coughs> we need three UI actions, you will see why, inventory, uh, enable, mm, paste with links, and then we are going to, uh, this is gonna be just on the beginning of the game, but so set, show and on show and action okay uh, what we gotta do here uh, yeah nothing else pretty much <coughs> and the last UI action for this will be inventory mouse uh, mouse on uh, sorry that yeah there will be more than this yeah so this is uh we are going to mm -hmm -hmm. we don't need this anymore because it just displays hide on sh or show on the screen which we don't we already defined that uh get I don't know what's happening to this okay on set 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 on set to end action so everything is fine. All we need, we want to enable mouse. So 
we want to show the cursor because I have I didn't make uh, my custom cursor. If it if I did, that would be much simpler. So I could access it from the uh, flash, you know, and and manage it there. But I didn't, so I need mouse events. So this is mouse on. Copy it and create new UI action. Inventory mouse off. <coughs> Page links. Set sets. Yeah. And now we disable the mouse over here. Yeah. That's it. Save all external graphs. Can switch it off now. We don't need that anymore. So um, yeah, that we got these actions. Everything is prepared. We can uh, go into our project, CPP tutorials, and and um, we going. We are going to C plus plus now. Game solution. And that's gonna be a lot of hard work to do. Where at the moment we are going to do what we already know and I don't know how long how long is this gonna take so you know we are going to create actions that is going to action that is going to um, show and hide our inventory obviously that's just you know some basic things but the thing about it is that we already know how to do that because I already showed uh, covered the uh, action maps in my previous videos so I'm gonna start off with going to my project and preparing uh, not here preparing the uh, the config file which is this um, I'm going to you guys I have this action hmm. you remember my action I created that for the tutorial purposes so we're gonna leave it because that's that could be nice tester for the future features so we're gonna create inventory open I'll just call it inventory because it's gonna be working open and closed so let's call it inventory and I as it usually is and I we want it to be only on press we don't need when you hold it or something to you know appear and disappear so inventory on press keyboard I okay good now we're going to the actions uh, it's player in player input player input H and player input CPP I'm gonna make it quick so I'm gonna just copy that paste over here on action inventory and uh, now the CPP we don't need this and uh, we're gonna create handler as it usually is if you don't know what I'm doing it's probably you haven't watched my previous videos inventory uh, here on action inventory and then we're going in here I'm gonna copy the oh sorry not like this we're gonna copy the whole function and call it on action inventory <coughs> we don't need to check when it's pressed because it's gonna be called only when it's pressed so why should I check it right so <coughs> although we can leave a few things yeah so what we're gonna do now? We don't need that anymore. We can li you can leave it, of course. It's gonna work, but uh, I don't need this. Uh, UI element is called inventory system. If element is is found, if element is visible. Uh, yeah, this is something. Okay, we're gonna do it later, or actually now. So let's go for the input. I don't know where this variable was. Yeah, is element visible? We're gonna create the switch for our um, inventory system. So we're gonna be boolean uh, inventory opened. 
inventory opened that's it and from the beginning of the game we are going to uh, inventory opened oh no you actually can we are gonna yeah okay inventory opened is uh, false yeah we might change it later, I don't know. We will see. Um inventory system is I and now the suite recreate is uh, inventory I'm running out of time. Inventory op if inventory is opened then close it. Change the flag into this in here. So we don't need this. This was just for the purposes of people don't knowing C++. So you probably already know that. So call function. We are not gonna be calling functions here. Or actually, we we will. We are going to call the functions. Uh, the functions here are in here. Oh no, that's my inventory. Nothing. Sorry. Mm, I have to find the inventory that I'm looking for. Anyways. Um, that's gonna I'm gonna leave it for later for now we are going to go to post initialize and 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 in the player dot cpp as you remember my example element was uh hidden from the screen so we're gonna replace it with new inventory system element ui actions P show action was called inventory uh, enable and um, show action yes it's gonna be inventory enable with the inventory system and listener we're gonna use the same listener like before I'm just I'm just uh, removing all the stuff that I made before for the for the tutorials this is tutorial uh, event so for now there is no events we're gonna be working on so <sighs> I just replaced that with the new element that's it that's all I'm doing mm, we're grabbing this and on the beginning of the game we want our inventory to hide so we show it this is not the the show it's uh, this is just enabling inventory start action even listener uh this listener we don't need this at the moment but yeah okay let's leave it like this i'm gonna show you what i'm talking about later p element call function if you remember our function was called inventory open uh, sorry close because it's on the beginning of the game we don't want this inventory to be obviously shown on the screen but w because why we are beginning game we want to call it only when the when we you know when we want to open it okay so we tutorials assets libraries ui e elements that's it that's my inventory i'm looking for and uh, we got this inventory closed and inventory open as you can see so that's what i'm using now in c plus plus um, <coughs> over here inventory closed so on the beginning of the game we want to enable inventory so find the element and and just load it, load everything into the screen and then just show it is just hide hide it from the screen but it, it will be there it just been it's just gonna be hidden you know what i mean if you if you use disable action that we created it's gonna be completely uh unloaded from the screen so whatever you have in inventory is gonna disappear forever so we want this to be always on the screen but but hidden that's all okay it's 14 minutes it's been 14 minutes since the beginning of this video so i'm trying to keep it to pace it in the each video's 15 minutes you know <coughs> so that's gonna be all for this part uh, in the next part we're gonna continue from from this moment uh, so um, thank you for watching and see you in the next video